Hi everyone, welcome back. We are going to paint a loose Kingfisher watercolor bird lesson today. And I used a four by six arches cold press paper. And then you can see that I sketched this and then I am adding masking fluid on top. The set that I have here pictured, this pink um, nail kit set I picked up on Amazon and I use that for fine details when I'm putting masking fluid down. I used Holbein paints. They're listed here for you. Slow the video down or pause it so you can write those down. So after I uh, apply the masking fluid, I let that dry for 30 minutes to one hour. And then I wet the very background of this painting. I used permanent yellow orange and some sap green to create this background. Once that was dry, I used uh, my rubber cement eraser to remove it. I can use my finger and I can use this eraser, but don't pull up on the fluid. Rub it as if you were going right across the top of the paper. It'll keep you from tearing the paper that you're working with. So I wanted to go ahead and put my focal point in. My focal point is where I want the finest detail, the dark, the light. I want it to attract people uh, to this area and that's the eye. So I'm going to sketch out just the very details of the eye and the bill as I get this started. I'm starting to move into uh, more of the color of the head and also the body at this point. And I'm using a little bit of that permanent yellow orange for me to produce the color in here. Gamboji is a deep yellow, but it's brighter. And then quinacridone yellow would be another excellent add-in in here. Uh, Quin gold can get brownish when it's really deep. You're adding extra layers. Um, and then the other thing I used in here was a bright orange. All I'm doing is sketching in some of the colors and this is going to become more of a wet on wet. Wet on wet because when I put the dabs of color in there, they're going to spread out. They're going to blend together for me. Now I'm adding in a little bit of peacock blue and then ultramarine blue in here for me to start to blend colors together. And I'm gonna stick with those two. I have the, at the lightest color, a horizon blue. And then I have the peacock, which is a mid-tone, and then the ultramarine blue I use for the darkest. And when I'm working on the body, I'm gonna use wet on wet, which means I'm going to wet the paper down first. Then I'm gonna dab in some of my colors. And right now, I'm actually dabbing in a little bit of Gamboji yellow, and then I'll switch into some of the oranges to pick up some of the brightness. Uh, so as I move along with this, this is peacock blue again. I'm just uh, adding in a little bit of paint into some of the areas of the body, and uh, I'm using, I'm putting the paint in there when it's not super shiny. The paper's not shiny from water. So it's not gonna spread too far, but it is still gonna blend, and that's what you want.
At this point, my paint is nice and thick, so I'm adding a little bit of salt in into this layer. I just want to see what that's going to look like. And then I also sprayed it with a little bit of water. A little bit of water is going to keep it loose. It's going to keep it fluid, and I can be a very tight watercolor uh, person. I can paint a lot of detail. And so one of the ways that I can help myself loosen up, squirt a little bit of water in there. So I'm going to go ahead and paint out some of the feather details and you'll see me paint detail. Then I'm going to use that spray bottle again and I'm going to uh, squirt it a little bit. But I wanted to capture some of the detail down towards this bottom area. I'm using neutral, Holbein neutral in this area just to sketch it out and you can always add a touch of blue or a touch of violet in there which just gives you different colors you don't want to have just plain neutral um, you want to add in a touch of blue or a touch of purple it makes it interesting to the eye that's what you're doing is keeping it interesting Now while that bottom area is drying, I'm working up top. I'm going into a totally different section so I can paint and not worry about messing up what's down below. So I'm going to go do some of the feathering details. I want the eye to stand out so I'm allowed to paint the details of the feathers even around the head, around the eye, in the neck, and it's going to draw people to that area when they're looking at the painting. Everything else is going to look pretty soft and loose by the time we finish this.
I'm going to move into this uh, little tree trunk area and I'm going to use some grays in here. You can use Payne's Gray or Dave's Gray. Dave's Gray is really good. Uh, it's a great color to add in here. It's almost like a greenish type of gray and they add some interest in there. I'm using a tiny bit of Horizon. There's Horizon, that light blue, uh, and I'm letting that blend in there. Uh, now this is another way that I do a little bit of a wet on wet. I am taking my brush, which has got water on it, putting in some of my color. I didn't wet the paper first. I just put the paint on there. But because I'm using enough water, I can dab in other colors to create uh, the texture, to let some of the colors blend and I don't have a soaking wet piece of paper at this point. It's mildly, it's almost like a medium wet. It's wet enough for me to add uh, wet paint onto it and it will blend. Um, if I added a ton of, of water into this, it would bloom. It would create a beautiful, ugly bloom, <laughs> which is like a water spot. And sometimes you can use water spots, but we're not doing that in this painting. So as I've added in these colors, you saw me grab my spray bottle again, because why? Because I want it to mix up a little bit more. Here I go again. I want to add a little bit of texture. I want it to run. And then I'm taking my brush right now to lighten up. I'm picking up some of that paint so that way I can create like a, a light edge. And then as we move on, I'm going to add a little bit more lines um, to this piece of wood so that way I can make it look like it's some kind of three-dimensional object and like a, a wood post or a wood uh, tree trunk kind of idea. To keep this loose, I'm going to finish it off by just splattering uh, dots on it. So I'm taking colors that existed in the bird, which is a little bit of a red tone or a quin, uh, the quinacridone um, gold, and a little bit of the orange. And I'm splattering that in there. I'm going to let it dry. And then I'm going to take the edge tape off. That's washi tape. And I'm going to show you what this looks like. It was a lot of fun. I'd love to see your work. Be sure to uh, post those up on Instagram or Patreon or Facebook. But here's what mine looked like. And guys, it was so much fun being with you. I will see you next time.